So the other day I was browsing through Amazon when I stumbled upon a laptop, one of the cheapest laptops I've ever seen, and instantly I was intrigued because how could you make a laptop this cheap? But since my main demographic are quite young and inevitably on a tight budget, I thought this would be quite a good video to make because I understand lots of you don't want to spend, well, your monthly rent on a laptop. So with that being said, I'm TechSynth, let's get into this. As always, a link to this laptop will be provided in the description. The laptop in question is the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 Chromebook, and let's dive into its specs. We're seeing an Intel Celeron N4000 processor, 4GB of DDR4 RAM, and 32GB of internal eMMC storage. So this Chromebook isn't going to be lining quick, but you have to bear in mind its situation. Because it's run in a cloud-based operating system, it's not heavily reliant on the actual components, which means you can get away with specs like these. In terms of looks, it's definitely not as bad as you'd think. It's got a two-tone textured lid which makes the Chromebook look premium even though it's just made of, well, plastic. <laughs> to be fair, it's got a relatively thin profile as well which makes it really easy to take to school or work. Now, the screen, it's an interesting one. I never expected much but once again, the Chromebook 3 has exceeded my expectations. It's got a TN panel which puts out about 250 nits. I mean, it's alright, like... The screen is washed out, but the decent viewing angles mean the screen hardly loses any colour if you're sitting like slightly off-centre, which is a common problem seen within laptops that have TM panels, but for 170 quid, you just can't complain. So nice, such a bargain, and proper nice as well. With regards to ports, this laptop has two USB-C, two USB-A, a, a microSD card slot, and an audio jack. This is a really impressive amount of ports, and I know a lot of people have said this. You have no problem plugging lots of things like keyboards, mouses and webcams into this laptop. And once again, given its price, this is really impressive. Build quality is another big issue that comes when you buy a cheap laptop, but not this laptop, sort of. Of course, you're not going to want to drop it or be particularly rough when typing on it or anything. But it's not something you're going to worry is going to break in your bag. It's actually surprisingly solid for a plastic build. The keyboard on this device is also another thing to be impressed by. Religiously, Lenovo have always done a good job with their laptop keyboards, and this is certainly no exception, even despite the price, proving ideal for typing on for lengthy amounts of time. But what should you do? Should you ignore it, make a note of it, compare it to other laptops of its kind, or just go ahead and buy it? Well, I think you should just go ahead and buy it. It's way ahead of its competition and just a complete no-brainer for the price. On screen is an alternate Chromebook that I've made a video on, so check that out too. Thanks for watching, see you soon.